I know y'all saw that, bruh. I, oh my goodness. I, I'm genuinely speechless, but I have to form words so I can make this video. So the Dragon Ball Legends reveals and stuff has just ended. And of course, we knew that it was going to be Ultra Instinct Goku, Sign, and Jiren. But alongside those two, we are also getting Topo, which thank goodness they actually call him Topo, and Dispo, right? I have so much to say about one of the characters in particular, but for now, we're gonna check out a bit of their gameplay and then we're gonna break down what they're able to do. I'm ending this. Here I come, Ka! Me! Ka! Me! Bandai Namco. Rest. Over here. Here it goes! Here! Here we go! Go! Oh. Here I come! You need to fix the back of that one. Turn him up the heat! Cannot stop me. No use. Here goes! Here I come! I'm in. I am actually extremely excited for all of this, man. Holy crap. But let's just get into the uh, descriptions of the character. So very first one is Topo. So he's a blue unit and his tags are rival universe and universe 11. His Z ability at Z ability three, it increases the base strike and blast defense of tag rival universe or element blue. Now with this, okay. This kind of gives him slight versatility, right? Because he's able to be put on teams that are primarily blue units, if you're able to make that work, right? But it's kind of underwhelming. Well, I guess he doesn't really have to buff Universe 11 specifically, because he's on Rival Universe, and all the other universes that are not Universe 7 are put on the tag. So no, I, I think that's fine. But honestly though, he is a powerful opponent. He is, but I, I, I don't know, like, I guess it makes sense that they gave him Element Blue because obviously he's a blue unit, but I think they could have also given him or given him a powerful opponent because, well, we all saw what he did to Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. But apart from that, his main ability boosts ally health and damage inflicted. So something pretty basic. His ultimate attack inflicts uh, all enemies with an attribute downgrade on hit. So that's good. If you land the attack, all the <laughs> your entire opponent team is getting an attribute downgrade, not just the unit that you fought, the entire team. And of course, he boosts damage inflicted when faced with an enemy, which is good because from how it was explained, Topo is more than likely going to be a defense type. So we'll see how all that works out. But from what it sounds like, he's going to be pretty stout, which is definitely a good thing. Like I've already said in the past that Rival Universe is still a fairly new tag. So slowly but surely, they're going to build it up and right now they probably are going to do some good with having him as that defense type then we have dispo so dispo is a red unit and his tags are also rival universe and universe 11. so his z ability as z ability 3 increases base strike and blast attack of tag rival universe or element red so practically similar nature to how it is with uh with topo but anyway 
He draws an arts card when using a special arts or landing a strike or blast attack up to two times. So think Vegito, but one less card. That's pretty much it. <laughs> uh, well, no, it says the special arts or no. Yeah, or landing striker blast. Yeah. So think Vegito, but one less card and it could literally be practically striker blast. Um, anyway, he shortens his substitution count by two as default. That is important because with the updates that we got to the battle system, it is imperative to be able to swap out as quickly and as much as you are able to. So the fact that his substitution count by default is shortened by two, that is great. That is phenomenal. So he's definitely gonna be a unit that you're able to put in the back for a bit and then get him back in there if you really need him in there or if you need him to take the hit to try to save other units, that's gonna be his role. And of course, his special skill arts boost arts uh, card draw speed and damage inflicted depending on number of timer counts elapsed. So the longer the battle, the more he's gonna get those buffs in order to get uh, the arts uh, cards, which is great because they're finding ways to, I guess, you know, really make his quote unquote speed apparent in the game. There's no like speed value in the game apart from, you know, your arts card uh, draw speed, your key uh, recovery, your stamina recovery, things like that, and even your substitution count. So that's how they're trying to implement how fast this character is by, you know, giving him a fast arts card draw speed or give him a short substitution count. So I think they're actually representing him pretty freaking well. And then of course we have Jiren. So it says uh, he's a green unit, which honestly I'm okay with because we have too many blue units, too many powerful blue units. We need a green unit that can take them all on. But he's a green unit. He has rival universe, universe 11, and powerful opponent. All makes sense. His Z ability has Z ability three, increases base strike attack and defense of rival uh, tag. Uh, I'm sorry, so early as I'm reading this. Of tag rival universe or tag powerful opponent. Makes complete sense. He boosts damage inflicted when battle starts. That's great. I will completely be down for that. Special cover change against strike arts. So he has strike cover, um, boost arts card draw speed when using his main ability. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe uh, during the stream, Toshi said that while he's in standby, he recovers health bit by bit, which is also really good. And one thing I noticed in the videos was that his ultimate attack does have blast armor. So you're kind of good when you use this unit. Like you look, Jiren is absolutely going to be a powerful green unit. There's no way in the world he's not going to be a powerful green unit. So expect really good things from Jiren, but we aren't going to be able to experience this until the next daily reset. So literally we have like what? Less than 24 hours. I think we can wait that time to actually see what he's truly made of. And then I, I can't believe this is the one I want to talk about the most. There's so much to talk about. Ultra Instinct Sign Goku. He's a purple unit, which um, in this particular case, for Sun Family, you could actually make that work. Um, you can just run like um, two purple units and then like uh, fill all the other slots or whatever. But um, God Key, no, God Key can make that work too. Um, Sands, you could also make that work. Like he's he's versatile, and I think that's all that really matters. But again, tags, Sand, Sun Family, God Key. His Z ability as Z ability three increases base blast attack and defense of episode universe survival saga, God key or Saiyan, which is great. That's extremely versatile. And he has a new feature. This is brand new, never been in legends before. He can automatically, <laughs> oh my goodness. He can automatically dodge strike arts and blast arts up to a certain degree, as long as you're standing still or practically not attacking. He can automatically dodge the attacks. And you guys have probably already seen within the gameplay, this character is literally stupid. Oh my, by default, that makes him an automatic meta unit. <laughs> There's no way, that is unfathomably viable. Like in every possible regard, think about it. You're in a situation where he's probably the last one standing, right? and you need to find a way to survive even just a little bit. And as long as they don't have, for example, Rise and Rush, a special move or an ultimate attack, I don't know about special skills because there are some special skills that actually have them rush at the opponent. So that one's kind of iffy, 
but if he doesn't have a special move, an ultimate attack, or rising rush, you're practically guaranteed to dodge the hit for free, for free. Th that is absolutely unreal. That is meta by default. This unit is going to be an absolute must have for all three of those tags guaranteed. Not only that, well, I should say further, uh, it says new feature, automatic evasion system, evade certain enemy attacks by depleting his unique gauge. So it's not based on stamina, mind you. It's based on that unique gauge. Again, like the scenarios I just gave you guys, let's say you're in that scenario, last man standing, your opponent doesn't have Rise and Rush because they've already used it. They don't have a special move and they've already used their ultimate attack on one of your other units, right? And they bait you to vanish. You still have the ability to fight back if they don't have those three things I mentioned earlier because of that unique gauge that allows you to dodge strike and blast arts. Un real unreal not only that he boosts inflicted damage and reduces damage received when the battle starts and of course his ultimate skill <laughs> inflicts super massive damage which yes it is the move he used against kepla and it is a legendary finish of course of course it had to be there was no way that it couldn't have been but this is the unit all of you guys have been saving crystals for a moment like this this is an absolute meta unit in every regard to question that would be insane this is a meta unit you need to summon on this banner <laughs> i don't know what else to tell you guys this is an absolute meta unit i am absolutely excited to see these guys in complete action when they drop in the next daily reset of course I'm pretty sure all of you guys have been saving crystals, but now that you've seen the gameplay and you have the details, how excited are you guys for all the characters, Topo, Dispo, Jiren, and of course, Ultra Instinct Sign Goku? Let me know in the comment section below, because I promise you I'm going for broke on this banner. But with that being said, I'm Inakuba, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.